All right. How can a video be funny and sad at the same time? Yeah, this is that kind of a video which is funny and sad at the same time. So a lot of you have been asking me around these questions that, hey, I want to make my career in teaching programming. So how can I get started or should I do this? A lot of people, uh, be due to some incidents in the past that a lot of high shot people who were uh, well placed in the companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft and all of them, they also quit their job and moved into the world of teaching programming. Now, a lot of this actually uh, kind of starts the domino effect that, hey, probably there is a lot more money in teaching programming. So probably I want to quit my job and I want to move into the world of teaching programming. Now, let me tell you some honest situation about this. Now, if you have a good audience already on YouTube, then probably you are making this move might make a lot of sense for you because you can generate some revenue there. But let me tell you the honest and truthful situation which I encountered on the, on the Twitter. I'm active on Twitter these days. So how this is actually the reality I'm going to show you in this video. Now, when you move into the world of teaching programming, there are a lot of pros and cons. And this video will give you absolute clarity and reality that should you be moving into the world of teaching programming or not. Now, some people have moved into this world and some people are in the top 1% of that. They are really doing good and fine in their life. But there are a lot of new people who are trying to jump in. So let me tell you the reality. First and foremost, YouTube is not the place. YouTube is not the place where you earn money because the money that YouTube gives you is just funny that how much effort it takes, how much gear it takes, uh, how much the editor charge you, how much the designer charge you, and then you get mere pennies, peanuts, and all of that. You can buy consistently ice cream from that kind of money if you are, if you are to be really honest. But obviously, the next move is to offer courses uh, for the subject in which you have expertise. Maybe you want to teach C programming, maybe you want to teach DSA, maybe you want to teach web dev, mobile dev, cloud, whatever that is. So let me tell you the situation what is right now. Now, of course, a lot of people buy courses and you need to actually get these courses into volumes if you really want to earn money. This is where this tweet will help you to understand the situation right now. So here's something really, really funny. Let me just tell you this. OK, so this is uh, the tweet that how much would you pay for a Flutter course that includes authentication and payment gateway integration? It's important. Please share them replies in quickly. So I actually got inspired by another tweet. So that's why I tweeted this. And I asked my community in Discord that, hey, can you please share your honest opinion that how much would you pay for this kind of a course? And it was really the honest replies that people gave. So it was affordable. OK, that's great. Uh, he only wants to pay good wishes. All right. Uh, 2,500, I think he is very generous that he wants to pay uh, this much. So again, the reality hits in the next tweet, the 1,000 to 1,200 rupees. Yeah, that's the situation right now. Uh, depending on the, who is teaching, this is the guy who actually evaluates the situation pretty nicely. So we'll avoid him. He is uh, too honest as well as too uh, woke into the situation. He understands the reality of the ground that it's important that who is teaching. Uh, 3,000 for me, ah, that's that's really honest. I, I really love that thing. But here comes the reality again. 1 to 2K, $10 is the ballpark, 1,000 to 1,500, 450 rupees because Udemy offers the courses in 450 and $10. So you, you get the idea. If you're teaching somebody on authentication, payment gateway integration and all of that, and then you'll be getting like what, $10 on a ballpark, maybe 1,000 rupees as a ballpark. Now, obviously, the next step is to get the people in volume. If your course doesn't have 2,000, 3,000 students, it's not going to make any money for you. But on the other hand, if you have that kind of skills, why would you teach? That's the first question. In fact, in my early days of the YouTube and the all tech startup career, I also was doing a lot of code work instead of teaching because that was paying me, uh, helping me to pay my bills. That was far more of a better money than making the tutorial for an entire month and offering that for 200, 300 rupees. But if you look onto this another gentleman's tweet, he is asking for a freelancer app developer, e-commerce app, budget is 15 to 20K, Reactor Flutter, whatever you like, and DME. So look at this, what the features is looking for, very basic, just what we offered in the courses. Uh, Google login, search functionality, uh, kids when women section, so basically a category, so basic uh, database, cash free payment integration, sanity database. So basically API calls and authentication, that's what he's asking for. And look at the responses. The budget you mentioned is too low. So budget 15 to 20K is so much less than paying 1K. So in order to learn these stuffs, you will just say 1K. And then you'll say, ah, you know what? These things are tutorials are free on Free Code Camp and YouTube. Yes, I'm the guy who made it free. Yes, I'm the guy. And people like me who made it free on the YouTube. 
So don't just uh, put this argument in front of at least me because I'm the person who is responsible for putting a lot of such content for free. Uh, those who have contributed, then they say that, hey, it's all free. Yeah, they can put this argument. <laughs> so just fun. Uh, don't take it personally. Uh, the budget you mentioned is too low and the budget is too low. Uh, not a good deal. Uh, all this. Uh, 15 to 20K, <laughs> you are asking too many features. Uh, some of them are Hindi. I'll convert them into English so that you can actually understand that. Now he's saying that, hey, sanity and cash free, they are going to handle payment and back end. Why are you asking too much of money? Uh, he's saying, Yash is saying that I pay my interns 21K a month. <laughs> interns are earning 21K. Why would you offer entirety of the course for 450 rupees? Even if you get, uh, let's just say, 100 students, <laughs> that's still nothing, man. Next month, what? Nothing? <laughs> just one month? And then. Uh, then budget, somebody is critting. Uh, he's saying, Chinmay, this is something that actually inspired me to actually just see that, does it work? 15 to 20K is a ripoff for this list of requirement. Come on, man, ripoff? So what is the one, what should we call the term instead of ripoff when we offer such courses for 450 rupees? And there's no shortage of people, they're still doing it. But I'm just giving you a ground reality. If you want to jump in and want to prepare your courses, ah, be prepared for this one. <laughs> Uh, E-commerce app, a uh, whole admin panel for adding goods. Uh, nobody's going to do it in 20K. <laughs> uh, this is this is fantastic. Uh, Archie says, I take 20K to make login screen. So I can make a lot of login screen. I have made a lot of tutorials for that. So instead of putting these tutorials for free, I can charge 20K to anybody. I've done that in the past because that was actually paying my bills, not the tutorials and the courses. So <laughs> yeah, you really need to understand this is the situation. So compared to this, this tweet is getting all about, I'm not going to pay anything. I'm going to pay max of 1,000, 2,000. And here on the other side of the world where you are selling your skills, that is actually paying you way more than this. So yeah, this is not any judgmental video. This is just a reality check. Uh, this will help you to understand that whether you should be jumping into the career of teaching or not. Now it's your call. I don't mind it anything that you want to do. Uh, but yeah, this is the reality. I have seen people who have been teaching programming like C, C++, DS and all of that for 3000 rupees five years ago. They're still teaching it in 3000 rupees. Uh, they are not even beating the inflation. So <laughs> be prepared that in what segment you really want to go teaching programming or using your skills and uh, you, you be the judge. Let me know in the comment section that what do you think about it.